टुडे आवर डिसकसिंग टपिक इज अबाउट कपार एंड एलुमिनियम बाशबार सज इन आवर माइंड वेन उइ हेयर ह्वाट इज बाशबार बाशबार मीन्स बाशबार इज ए मेटेरियल और इक्विपमेंट थ्रु हुईच द लट अफ कारेंट लट अफ भोल्टेज कैन बी सस्टेंट एंड लट अफ कारेंट कैन बी कैरिड आउट एंड पासेस थ्रु From the bus bars, we are providing lots of connections, parallel connections, to provide the loads distribution throughout the area, throughout the zone, throughout our India, whatever it is. So, bus bar is the center point where the all the accumulations of the current are passing from this material or. items so it is called the bus bar it is made of copper and aluminium so copper and aluminium bus bar size calculations we are now let's are discussed current carrying capacity what is it ccc current carrying capacity copper a current carrying capacity is 1 square mm copper bus bars can carry 1.6 amperes of current and aluminium 1 square mm aluminium bus bars can carry 0.8 ampere current so let us start about the standard bus bar size 20 into 6 mm 20 into 10 mm 30 into 10 mm 40 into 10 mm 63 into 10 mm 80 into 10 mm 100 into 10 mm so uh, why this 10 mm here and 6 mm here 6 mm is used for the neutral and also for the earth flat connections and 10 10 mm is for uh, the standard for power distribution purpose so we draw a pictures here i draw a pictures here uh, of a bus bar of this is the width of the bus bar and this is the thickness of the bus bar so t is the thickness and w is the width of the bus bars and these are the holes for uh, connections with the another parts of the bus bars okay so power distributions we using the 10 mm thickness bus bar and for earthing and neutral connection we using the 6 mm 4 mm 2 mm as per the situations and requirement basis so we all know that area equal to width into thickness so if the thickness uh, is 10 mm so what is the width width equal width equal to area by thickness so if we are considering the copper bus bars uh, of 315 ampere capacity so the bus bar capacity of 315 ampere so 315 divided by 1.6 for the copper uh, we are calculating for the copper the 315 ampere 1.6 amperes we are getting 196.875 mm square square meter uh, square mm so this is the square mm This is square mm. So uh, also we are um, calculating from here one ninety six point eight seven five divided by ten equal to nineteen point six eight seven five mm. So with this nineteen point six five mm. So for the thickness of ten ampere and if the current capacity. maximum current capacity considering the 315 ampere so the width will be uh, 19.68 so 19 uh, mm thickness some bus bar is not not present so we have to consider 20 into 10 20 into 10 so here we are getting 315 ampere copper bus bar 1 is to 20 into 10 that mean 1 is to means one numbers of 20 mm thickness 20 mm width and 10 mm thickness bar bars bus bars um, is bring used for the purpose of 
flowing 315 ampere of current through the copper bus bus system if we are discussing about the aluminum bus bar so considering the 315 ampere of current flowing one uh, square mm uh, can flow 0.8 ampere of current so we are getting the 393.75 square mm square mm so this is the area of the uh, copper bus bars that can uh, that can carry the 315 ampere of current maximum current so the thickness is 10 mm with the calculation by same procedures we uh, are getting 39.375 mm so what is 39.375 mm it is the 315 ampere aluminum bus bar 1 is to 14 into 10 because we don't have 39.375 mm thickness uh, with uh, bus bars aluminum bus bar so we have to consider the 40 1 is to 40 means one numbers 40 mm width and 10 mm thickness bus bar bus bar is being used for the purpose of aluminum bus bar systems so for the copper bus bus systems we are using the 20 into 10 and for the aluminum same same amount of current flowing capacity 40 into 10 mm if we consider uh, that the 2000 ampere bus bar for for calculation for purpose of 2000 ampere bus bar suppose in the 11 kb uh, system so 11 um, kb panel inside the 11 kb panel the bus bar current capacity is 2000 ampere so if the bus bar is copper then we have to calculate like this 2000 divided by 1.6 we will get uh, 1250 square mm so what is the width is 125 mm so 100 mm and 130 mm that means 100 mm is the width and the 30 mm also the width so the two bus bar uh, is being used to uh um, just maintain the 125 mm of the um, width of the bus bars so for the 2000 ampere capacity we are using 125 mm bus bar because 125 mm bus bar is not present so we have to use the two bus bars separately 100 mm and 30 mm that is uh, 130 mm so two bus bar systems will be used for the um, requirement purpose if that is the aluminum bus bar if that is the aluminum bus bar is present is for the copper bus bar if the aluminum bus bar is present so 2000 divided by 0.8 so 2500 square mm we are uh, putting this formula we are getting 250 mm so what is 250 mm 250 mm is the width width of the bus bar aluminum bus bar that can carry the 2000 ampere of current current carrying capacity so we have to use the 100 mm uh, 200 mm bus bars and 163 mm bus bar so three bus bars are parallelly connected so three bus bars can parallelly connected by help um, of some mechanical arrangements as like as this to getting this amount of 250 250 mm bus bar systems so friend if you are interested to show my video please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for more updated technical video thank you thank you very much for watching my video thank you very much